Hello YouTube and to all my subscribers, um, this is Raging Do It Yourself Tutorials and it's been a while since I have made a video tutorial and in this year uh, I'm really quite busy so I haven't made one so to make it up to you all guys um, I have made a product review video this is a product review video yeah because I am one of you guys that wanted to try a graphic tablet and I just don't want to spend much money on it so I just bought the most cheap one okay so I this video is about a cheap graphic tablet which is affordable for every one of us so this uh, graphic tablet is the genius easy pen i405x and um, this pen as I have googled it in the Amazon it is around 49.99 99 dollars so it's uh it's around 45 to 50 dollars in your country so yeah it's really kind of not that pricey so it's um it's uh gonna be available for us to buy because it's cheap so this genius easy pen i 405 x it has a digital pen a curiosity of 0.25 mm Report rate is 100, resolution LPI is 2560 LPI, widescreen 43, 4 by 3, then active area is around 4 inch by 5.5 inch, and its interface is USB. Digital pen pressure sensitivity is around 1024, digital pen number and buttons is 2, the OS support is Windows 7, XP, and Vista. With cordless pen, yes. Pin clip, yes. Software hot hotkeys, yes. I don't usually use the software hotkeys to some sort because I find it really, really, really boring and not helpful at all. But for some, it might. And it has a triple A battery for the cordless pen. It has a multi language guide. All right. So yeah, as you can see in this image. Um, this graphic tablet is really really cheap and it has a small working active area for you to work on but I think we can work it out so I have already connected my um, easy pen i 405 x into my computer and then we will proceed on how the pen graphic tablet looks like but before we go into the the software to draw lines um let's go and see uh the gui of the graphic tablet uh, so it's iot io tablet okay you can also see it here uh, so it will show you the device list so let's click on the pen and in the pen you can see that you can assign uh uh, uh the buttons in it here the bottom one this is the tip so it's basically for clicking and for drawing then the macro keystroke are this one one two that is for whatever macro key that you have signed so I've put an E on it modify key it's an alt so uh, when I want to copy the color of anything that I want it will copy automatically automatically by just clicking on the button all right so in the action tab uh, the work mode is pen the pressure sensitivity is um, around 5 um, the total number of pressure sensitivity is 10 so I'm just in the middle of it so it's 5 soft and heavy it depends on you but for me it is around uh, 5 so that's it so in the board area okay so let's wait for it mm. This is uh, which uh, the part you will gonna be uh, have a, a command on it. So in the one, it is a new file, open file, save file. I rarely, I mean, I never use this option. So that's just how it is for me. The advance uh, is just the language. You can change it to whatever you like whatever country you are so there you go so I usually use English then I'm close to this and then yeah and guys I have not been using the Photoshop CA6 for a while because I really find it not really good for line art lately so 
as of today, I'm going to show you what I am now using, and that is Pain Tool Sci. Pain Tool Sci is really quite good if you are using a um, graphic tablet and a mouse. This is much better. It's a lot. This is a 100% much better than uh, Photoshop CS6 for me. So here we go. Let's go into a uh, new. Let's create a new canvas. Press N. Okay, so let's try uh, um, the graphic tablet now, the EasyPen i405X. So I have a custom preset of um, uh, brush here. So this line art thick, line art clean, and sketch. Uh, so let's try on using the sketch. All right. So basically, this is for sketching. Yep. Uh, the pressure sensitivity of this graphic tablet is really quite nice. So yeah. So it will be really helpful for you, those who are beginners like me. Okay. So yeah. Press Control N for a new layer. Then just minimize the opacity of it. Then let's change on to the. Uh, let's see. Uh, the line art clean, which is a thin. Thin stroke. Yep. This is really good for drawing some art you like. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna just use the line art thick for this one because it's a chibi character that I made. really quite smooth actually this is much better than the Photoshop CS6 so if you want to uh, pursue draw drawing anime and comics I suggest that you use um, paint tool Sci or clip art studio those tools or those software is really designed for this kind of work. Yep. You can really draw quite well in this. Okay, so so as you can see, the uh, Genius Easy Pen i four zero five X is really good. You can really draw the things that you wanted with it. All right, so um, let's go to the custom uh, default presets here. The pen. Let's see. Okay, it's real nice. Airbrush. It gets. Uh, thicker the more you use it depending brush this is this is the thing that I always use when I'm coloring yep and the water is just it will like smoothen it uh, it will uh, what do you call this uh, it will blur it yep and the marker this is for coloring. Yep. You can really do good coloring with it. Um, I'm just um, showing you some examples with uh, eraser and select. You can do many things about it in this uh, paint tool size. So 
Paint Tool Sci is just a, is a software that is not very extensive into your graphics card and into your CPU. So I really recommend using this tool if you ever want to buy a graphic tablet. So yeah. So as you can see, you can really draw smoother in Paint Tool Sci. I'm gonna show you a video uh, on. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna be using Photoshop CS6, but I decided not because it's really the line art on it. When you draw lines, and it's not really this kind of smooth lines. It's really annoying for me. Now, yeah. and you can write your name smoothly on it. Just like when you are using a, a a paper and a pen. So yeah. So so basically, the Genius Easy Pen i four five X really works with Paint Tool Sci very well. The pressure, as you can see, if I if I draw lines hard. It's really thick but if I draw it like in a paper when I when the pressure is not that heavy it's really really thin and smooth so I hope that if you want to try uh, buying a graphic tablet this video is helpful to you so uh, I'm gonna show you one uh, of my arts that I have been doing using the easy pen so uh, let's open those uh, art I have used in Sai. Here, as you can see, I've drawn Goku. And the tool that I've been using here is this one, Line Art Clean. So if you want to know my presets about it, I'm going to show you on how to build this preset so that you can use it too. Then. I'm gonna show you that into the next video then um, how about this one this is the first art that I have made this is the first anime character that I've made using paint tool side it's really quite nice actually uh, the the brush preset that I'm that I used here is this line art clean it's really a thin line it's really good for doing line arts and I have here uh, just recently Batman vs Superman um, the the brush that I use here the brush preset that I use here is the line are thick yep I think this is good for uh, if you are drawing for a manga or comics because it's really thick black and white so yeah, so basically this is everything about the graphic tablet and the paint tool side. The graphic tablet really works well. Again, is really perfectly well and it's cheap. It's right around 45 to 50 dollar price range. You can do this amazing art here. I don't uh, I don't mean to say that I am really good at drawing um, the best out there, but as you can see here with the tools that I've been using and um, the money that I've spent on the graphic tablet is really good if you're really uh, if you have that talent to draw or not but you can you can use the tablet well as you like so so um, if you don't uh, if you don't want to buy this graphic tablet and if you don't uh, want to spend uh, much money on buying I can still uh, show you some tutorials on how to draw an anime characters only using a mouse I'm gonna show you the trick and how I, I use that so I'm gonna show you uh, uh, a preview on an art that I've been drawing uh, here it is a line art and this line art is been drawn only using the mouse yes guys uh, I've drawn this only using a mouse as you can see it is smooth so See you in the next video. I'll show you how to draw this cool line art only using a mouse in Photoshop Sci. So again, I'm going to tell you guys, so if you want to draw anime characters and comics, 
manga um the painful sight is the right tool for you and i am not using photoshop anymore so yeah paint tool sigh and your mouse you can do great um, art with it but if you have a graphic tablet then it will be much better so i think that's for it uh, uh, this is everything uh, the video it is and i hope that this video is helpful to you and if you have some questions and some um, some if you want to have some other tutorials that you want to know if you want to know something uh, if you want to if you have um, a suggestion you can just hit me in the comment sections below so that I could reply or I can make video for the quest for the requests that you may ask so yeah so I think this is it guys um, this is rage and do it yourself drill so see you next time I'm gonna be posting you new videos and God bless and thank you and goodbye